if you haven't quite yet got around to picking up a brand new GPU for gaming, you might want to hold off for just a little bit longer. I know, I know you want to pull the trigger on that and pick up something, whether it be maybe a 40 series card or even a 50 series card. If you are thinking about getting a 50 series card, I would hold off a little longer. Why? Well, because NVIDIA is going to be releasing a super, it's branded super, video card or video cards. There's going to be a whole slew of these. And as always, I will link to the source here in the YouTube description down below if you want to find out more information about it. Now, before I jump into this, just a friendly reminder here. If you enjoy my content, you can throw me a thanks by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. So these new super branded NVIDIA RTX 50 series cards apparently will be released in the latter part of this year, Q4, supposedly. We'll have to wait and see if that actually happens or not. Now, as you know, the prices of these 50 series cards, well, the 5070 Ti, the 5080, 5090, all these cards are pretty darn expensive. Cards, products, food, everything is expensive these days. Unfortunately, it's the world we live in. But yeah, these cards, I think, if you are thinking about jumping into a RTX 50 series NVIDIA card, you should hold off and see what, if you can, by the end of this year. I know that's, you know, it's a few months to wait, obviously, but you might not have any kind of buyer's remorse if you do that, because apparently, 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 <laughs> rumor has it that these cards will come with more VRAM and they will have, get this, the same MSRP, although MSRP really doesn't account for much, does it? So let's go over some of the information that is in this article here pertaining to the card. So the RTX 5070 Super is expected to cost $549 US. MSRP again, with 18 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM. That's a 50% increase. That is significant. And really, why didn't NVIDIA release these cards to begin with? I don't know. Ah, the launch of the 50 series cards, well, it was anything but stellar, that is for sure. And a slight boost in CUDA cores, at 6,400 and apparently the power requirement for this one, or it is 275 watts. Now, I know what you're thinking. How about, I don't want a 5070 Super. I want a 5070 Ti Super. That one is rumored to be $749 with, get this, 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM, 30 gigabits per second, super fast, and it has a TGP, the power is 350 watts, and uh, no additional CUDA cores, apparently, on this one. The RTX 5080 Super, which is a card that I suspect a lot of people are interested in because it's between, you know, the 5070 and the 5090. It's something that maybe somehow we can afford to pick it up. And, um, yeah, it's going to have... 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM, 32 gigabits per second, and has a TGP of 415 watts. Now, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an increase for this card when it comes to CUDA cores. So this is pretty good overall. I mean, if these specs pan out the prices and we'll see about performance when reviewers get a hold of them. Now, the question here is, should you in fact get a non-super version when the super comes out? Because you're thinking what I'm thinking, right? They're going to be cheaper than the super. Yes, they should be. They'll be very close when it comes to performance, but maybe you can get a couple hundred dollars off and get a non-super version. And for most people, that will be more than adequate. Certainly, if you're getting an RTX 5080, not a Super. Now, something that's not listed here is actually the price of the RTX 5080 Super, but if it's going to be on par with the old pricing, it will be 999, that's almost $1,000 US, and that's around 14, 15, 1600 dollars 
Canadian, which is insane for just a video card, but you know. Now, nothing about the RTX 5090 listed in here. That would probably remain the same and not be changed. I mean, the cost on that card, first of all, will drive a lot of people off, but not only the cost. If you're buying a 5090, you need to have a mini nuclear station in your house to actually power it so yeah you got to be pretty well off to go that route and the majority of people i think will go and get an rtx 5070 ti either the super or not or the rtx 5080 again the super or not because those two cards will pretty much do everything that you want it to do unless unless you are gaming like for example at 4k so let us know what you think about this and are you holding off or did you just pull the trigger and go ahead and get a brand new card and if you got a new card let us know which one you got